home of our heroes, Chef Kurt, the master of food preparation, and the Hydra, the strongest creature in the world. Everything seemed perfectly normal, until... <laughs> We have a new email! It's from Kylie in Somerville, Massachusetts. And Sasha in Carmel, New York. What we want to see you make is called spaghetti tacos. They are like regular tacos, but with spaghetti in them. They work best when you add them to hard shell tacos. So good! I think so too. We're gonna make your spaghetti tacos. Spaghetti tacos? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spaghetti tacos? Spaghetti tacos? Ah! The best of both worlds on one plate. Spaghettis, tacos, it's spaghetti tacos. Tons of fun. Let's Spaghetti tacos, you will need one box whole wheat spaghetti, one jar of your favorite tomato sauce, half cup of Parmesan cheese, a dash of oregano, a dash of garlic powder, a dash of hot pepper flakes, taco shells, and shredded mozzarella cheese. All right, to begin making our spaghetti tacos, we're gonna start by boiling a large pot of water. Mmm, yummy. To help you when you use the stove. You want to fill a pot large enough to fit a box of spaghetti into. And we'll add a pinch of salt to help bring out the flavor. And it's spaghetti breaking time. We're going to break our spaghetti so that it can fit inside of the taco. That is a Hydra job. Yeah. All right, Hydra, let's get to it. Yeah. That's it, Hydra. Yeah. You can do it! Go, Hydra, go! Uh, I know you can do it! Yeah. Go, uh, go, go. Uh, go, driver. Go, go. Uh, behind the net! Go, go. He's insane! Go, go. I've never seen spaghetti broken so efficiently. Go, go. Uh, Jump on the road! Uh, go, go. Uh, karate chops! Go, go. Elbow chops! Wow! Go, go. Hydra! Does that yeah. to spaghetti? Ah. Amazing! Ah. Now we're gonna take our broken spaghetti mm. and we're gonna add it to our pot of already boiling water. And we're gonna keep stirring our pasta to keep it from clumping together and have it boil for about six to eight minutes. Now that we got that, we're gonna start preparing our sauce. We're gonna put our sauce in the pan and now we're gonna dress up our sauce. You can make it however you like. My favorite way is to add a little oregano, oh. a little bit of garlic. I like seaweed, worms, fish flakes. I like to put bubble gum in it. We, we like, like to put, put rats in it. it! And if you're feeling brave, you can add some crushed red pepper. Oh. I'm feeling really brave. Oh. Eso es muy caliente. Now, we mix it up a little bit. Use a fork, get all our ingredients in there mixed up. And now we're gonna take our pot of sauce and put it on the stove at a low heat so that we can stir and mix everything together. Mmm, well it looks like our pot of boiling water and spaghetti is ready. Let's test it out and see. Look at that, oh. Nice and jiggly. We'll take a piece, give it a try. Whew. Get an adult to help you with this. Uh. That's some ready spaghetti. Ah. Good to go, risotto. These noodles are ready to skadoodle. We're gonna skadoodle your noodle! And it's time to begin straining our pasta. Oh. Ah, right, ah. exactly. Yeah, don't want to burn our hands. Mm. Thank you. Huh? Boiling water is really hot. Get an adult to help you with this. And now we're gonna pour out all of our water into our colander slowly to avoid splashing. And once we're done doing that, we're gonna pour all of our spaghetti back into the pot. And now we'll place a pot holder down on our counter to prevent burning the counter when we place our pot of spaghetti on it. We're gonna start by mixing the pasta sauce into our pot of spaghetti. Mm. 
Oh, really good. Ah, get all that pasta sauce flavor all around. Mm. Maybe I'm thinking we add a little Parmesan cheese into there. A lot of Parmesan yeah. cheese. All right, make sure you mix all of your pasta sauce together with your pasta. Get all that flavor everywhere. On you like lasagna. And now we're gonna take our taco shells, which we preheated, and begin filling them with spaghetti. Ah. These taco shells ring my bell. Oh, spaghetti oh. tacos. Oh. What a pretty little delicate meal. Mm. And we're gonna garnish top with mozzarella cheese. We finished making our three spaghetti tacos. It was so much fun creating something so wacky and wild, taking two foods that don't normally go together and just mixing them up. Looking fun? I'm ready to have some fun. So let's eat! I'm so hungry. So hungry. Let's cook something to eat. If I make it by myself, then I can make it extra sweet. I'll make it spicy, make it chewy, make it salty, make it gooey. Put my apron on, wash my hands, I'm ready to get to it. Cause I'm hungry. So hungry. I just need some extra beat. I'll mix some in the batter, make it spatter on the cookie sheet. Now watch me toast it, watch me bake it. Chocolate ice cream, I'ma shake it. Everything I make so yummy, you can taste, but you can't take it. Make it on, get in that kitchen and cook like me. Oh yeah! I'm gonna show you how to cook like me. Cause I'm hungry. So hungry. Let's cook something to eat. Cause I'm hungry. So hungry. Let's cook something to eat. 